I've experienced a lot of painful launches for video games over the years, but nothing is close to as bad as the launch for Overwatch 2. I have never experienced such a horribly launched game in my life, and I say that with literally no sarcasm involved. This has to be the worst launch of a game I've seen in my whole life. I play Call of Duty every year, normally there's server issues for an hour or two, and that's it. Overwatch 2 has been damn near unplayable on my end for two days, and there's a few reasons for that. Number one, uh, there's a lot of people queuing up to play, so of course there's going to be a queue of people. That's fine, servers might be all overloaded the first day or so of a new game, but realistically for a game as big as Overwatch or any big publishers that are releasing new games, wouldn't you expect a lot of people to be playing your game right at launch? Wouldn't you expect thousands of people to try to play at the same time? The fact that you have to be in a queue because servers are full is just so damn annoying. Sure, it'll taper off over time and there won't be issues, but the fact that at launch, I seriously couldn't pay for a solid day because I had to wait two hours to even just get to the main menu is absurd. Not to mention that uh, Blizzard wants you to verify your account with your Battle.net account, and uh, doing so you have to verify your phone number, but if you don't have a contract phone plan for most people, it won't let you. I myself do not have a contracted phone plan. I pay at the end of the month, and I'm good. I'm on a family plan. We're, like, we're all set. There's no issues with billing or any of that. Any other two-factor authentication that has to do with my phone number never had an issue. Overwatch 2, no, my number's not good enough. So if you have something like Cricket Wireless, some people have been reporting issues with like Metro PCS or Mint Mobile per chance, some of those carriers that aren't contract based, you might not even get, be able to get to play the game. Now they did announce that they're going to be able to, to fix that. I myself have been able to play the game because I'm a legacy player. I played Overwatch before uh, years and years ago and, and super recently before the launch of this. So legacy players will be fine, but new accounts, they might have to uh, verify a phone number. It's a whole new mod monetization policy too. There's a battle pass. The battle pass is awful. Most games that have battle passes aren't really that great, but this one's significantly bad. Uh, things that used to, you know, used to be able to grind like 14 hours in real life time to get now take like three months or something. I, th I read on the Reddit. I don't know how accurate that is. That's super. This game is just so horribly optimized. I'm literally, as I'm recording this, staring in a queue of 20 players. It's been stuck at 20 players for 10 minutes. The fact that you have to wait in these queues, you have to verify your phone number, sure, it helps sway cheaters and all that. They're gonna find a way around it, I hope you know that. Not to mention the fact that all the bugs that are happening in-game. Literally, I was playing as Sombra, someone I played as a lot in Overwatch 1 when, you know, she first got released, and I never did phenomenal with her. Got into one of my first games of Overwatch 2, hit her all, EMP'd all five of the enemy players, got the achievement, immediately disconnected. The fact that getting an achievement or a trophy in a game causes you to disconnect from the servers is fucking unbelievable. I have never experienced anything like this in my life. The fact that that is even something that can happen is so bizarre to me. Never once have I encountered an error like that while playing a game where it's like, oh hey, you got an achievement, you did good, but now you can't play the game because now you're disconnected from the server. And there's so many other issues in the game, too. Here, I'll list off a couple more now. Uh, randomly, your heroes may just all lock, so you're stuck with default heroes. Though, like, the cosmetics will still be there, you can't play these heroes in-game. You're stuck with the default ones. And it says, hey, you can unlock these heroes via battle pass or doing hero challenges. These hero challenges that don't exist. Sometimes restarting the game will fix that and your heroes will come back. Sometimes it won't and the next day it might work. Uh, Blizzard's apparently aware of that, but it's not fixed yet, so... Be prepared to possibly not be able to play as any character you like playing as. There's no medals in-game, so the in-game scoreboard uh, has the numerical values, so there is no gold, silver, or bronze medal in-match, which was a nice little thing to have, to be like, I got the most eliminations, that's a gold medal, like, that's cool, like, a little something, you know, it's just that, those little things that give you that little hit of dopamine while in-game. There's no post-match scoreboard, so uh, being able to compare yourself to everybody else or endorse the other players, being like, this guy got the most eliminations, this guy had the most healing, can't do any of that, can't endorse your friends either, which I don't understand. Understand. Just because you know it means you can't endorse them. I get it, because odds are you would endorse your friends, but like, if they had a really good game, why wouldn't you endorse them? You gotta endorse these other people that maybe they didn't even do that good. 
Uh, being on fire is not a thing anymore, though your character will say it. If you do good enough to wear an Overwatch 1, you will be considered on fire and that little pop-up would happen. Your character still has a voice line for that. That'll still happen, but nothing to indicate that you are on fire in-game, aside from your character saying that. That's just a few issues, and there's so many more, and Blizzard acknowledges a lot of these, and there's so much more that goes, like, unreported or that they don't even know about. This game launch is just... So absurdly bad. I cannot stress that enough. I am at a loss for words. This is the worst launch of a game I have witnessed in my life. I don't know how they didn't anticipate any of these things happening. I don't know where the, the quality assurance team is because I feel like they didn't do much. Uh, did they test getting an achievement when they were testing the game? Because they must not have because getting an achievement disconnects you from the server. I have no idea what's going on at Blizzard, but... Holy shit, the launch to Overwatch 2 is abysmal. I, I would hardly even call it a launch. And this is coming from someone who didn't play Overwatch for a couple years. I played it like a little bit after launch, stopped for a little while, came back recently, is getting excited for Overwatch 2. And this is just taking any hype or fun that I would have had with this game out of it. And I, I literally do not know what to do anymore. I don't know how this was so horribly mismanaged. That That's all I got for this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Overwatch 2 in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, mates.